economic and great thing from that. It costs five dollars and it's fantastic. And Paco start using it. And it created a force because the this thing I I had singers one time telling me, I don't go to you with you to the stage if you have one of those ideas. I had to bring one like this. Are you because the singer was thinking this looks horrible, which may or may not be true if you compare this one with that or not. But why the Sejilla also here? Do we know why we use Sejilla? Because we so talk about the, the range of the voice of the singer. That's right. Yeah. And also when we when there is no singer, what we do? When there's no singer? Don't play with this idea. No, that is not a but I mean, what else, what else you can do? Oh, uh, to for different styles? No. In, no. We play two guitars, these falsettas you play here in, in, in Gasarina key, and I, and I can play in Minera key here a fourth. You see, this is how you have to play. 
So you have look how they left. <laughs> so is it this? But but at the, in the same time, because I asked him this thing, he did not pretend to eliminate total with the cable. He tried to search other alternatives. Ideally, one place without cable in some keys. But whenever it's more suitable for what is people, they can buy the tuning uh, idea. I did, I made it for flamenco. If you are using that, then now the roots of the cable become another tool. So it depends. Are you using an alternative tuning? But even in a standard tuning, I mean, when we play this, we have seen Pacot overdubbing himself in, in different positions with the cable, which means the cable has to be also used, but you need to know how to use it. To know that, that for our class of field training, what, we, what do you think we should do? We should, we should know uh, the uh, first, we start with the Lucian cadence until we get to the extension of 16 chords or so. There are substitutes for the flat 6, for minor substitutes for the flat 7 is the fifth minor. And this one has also a secondary dominant, etc., and a substitute dominant. Therefore, out of four chords, it ended up being 16. Now, this we need to know. In which position do you guess we need to know? Yeah. For example, if I play here, which is called Porcini, I have to know. Right? Now, if I play por medio, por medio tres, yeah, that changes. Then, then now, I also know from here, then, then I have to go to the to the Minera key. Right. And then I have to go to the Taranta key and also know that that position. Then for arriba and etc. You see? You need to know your position on the stop with the chords in the Andalusian cadence and with the extensions of those dominants. Mm -hmm. And now you need to, is that enough? No, you need to practice. <laughs> you need to practice now what of those things are suitable to be played with strumming, etc. And so on and so forth. For instance, this one I did example here, sometimes it will come to the illogical points of playing too high. So maybe we will not use it unless you are playing the other idea of the, of the uh, of the different tuning. Mm. So you see, the, but, but if you know how to use the capo, means you know how to play position of talent, how to play por medio, how to play por arriba, how to play por minera, how to play in rondeña tuning also, all this. Because the singer not always will do the same tuning. And, and, and the Calle Real thing happens, is all out of tune. If you check the bulerias, it's not in 440. Purpose or, uh, <laughs> that is why people were, were, were was thinking that this may be the only purpose. But actually, you know, when I asked Michael, he said, What are you saying? These guys go all uh, drunk there to the school. And then we are playing until 5 a.m. And then, of course, the guitar works so like that, so we record that way, but this was accidental. Because it doesn't matter much for, for that kind of material that you are for 40. So when you have to study these albums, this is in, in, in 840. This album was recorded this year. But in the Cameroon things, you have to also adjust the tuning. It's crazy, this thing. So therefore, the use of the capo and the use of the position and stuff should be there. We start first by doing exercises with pieces like this. And then knowing the, the, the chord progression and analyzing it. And then improvising over this would be the next thing to find out compositionally what is done, and then you can use those ideas to endure on compositions without sound to a copy. Mm -hmm. There is no copy, you are not really doing right. Because in that sense, we, we said that Pac already played these this chords in Solo Tiro Cardinal before. So let's play it one time on, from here from the beginning. <laughs>
Yeah, I might say this is an opinion. <laughs> From the arranger, if the arranger is there and isn't that there's a light of cotton, he takes it out. They need it, it's, it's a great recording here. Yeah. I'm not saying anything wrong, actually. I'm just uh, my, how to follow back on this way the singers are doing. <laughs> Popular y qué es la música elitista. Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas eh, elaborando esa música. 